What's up guys, this is Top Gun from Toys to Men, and today we're going to be looking at Transformers Constructbot Thundercracker. Now, my first opinion of this guy is I love it. I like it a lot. Some things kind of hit me strange, but as far as for being what it is, very nice. The first thing I don't like, let's get into the things I don't like. I don't like the red skeletal uh, feature here. His whole main components that you build first is red. And I'm not digging that very much. The color is more of a greenish teal than blue. But I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is the red. I don't like the red. But anyway, it's nothing to harp on. He has the same feet mold as Starscream, but a repaint. I feel like there could have been a little bit more paint apps here on these, because I thought that could have maybe set the figure off a little bit more. And then this as well. But we did not. He comes with double blasters, which the blasters are very, very G1-esque in my opinion. Very nice. His wings are not as bad as Starscream's wings. Starscream has really, really big wings, and they really become a problem. His, not too bad. Really, really not too bad. They look cooler this way instead of this way. This way they look like they're just too much. But I guess you could fold them up if that's really what you wanted to do, which is possibly the way that I will continue to display mine. So, this figure is an absolute perfect um, make of the character, in my opinion, if, from what they had to work with, or what they gave us, I guess, because I guess they could work with whatever they wanted to. But this here is very nice. But when I see the collars together, all I can think of is Ultra Magnus for some reason. See what I mean? But all in all, a solid piece. Really like this guy. Looks very, very cool on a shelf. So let's get a closer look at Thundercracker. Maybe this can help you decide whether this is what you want to pick up or not. So I think the face mold is pretty good, but I think that this face mold should have probably went with Starscream. But only with a smirk. Starscream's face mold looks a little off. This one looks pretty much like Starscream. All in all, I say it's a definite pickup. A very, very nice addition to any Transformer fan. It will go with anything. You can stick it anywhere and it just looks fantastic. Also to note, on the back, different mold than Starscream, which I was very happy about. This jet mode on this guy looks to be pretty cool. This is a very, very, very long nose piece, but I think it could work out pretty nice. Also, you can also peg his blasters into these pegs here on each side, which is a very awesome touch that I may say so myself. So, this has been my quick review of the Transformers Constructbot Thundercracker. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.